This is part two of a couple of videos describing how to analyze bivariate data. So in the previous video, we entered the data into some lists, and then we created a graph. So over time, zero to seven minutes, the number of turtles sitting on a log has gone down, and we added the trend line. To do a little bit more work, uh, a little more precise work, we're going to uh, add an, yet another page. So I'm going to go to Control and Plus Page. And just to point it out here, right, we started by adding data in this type of page, a list and spreadsheet. And then we visualized the data in the Data and Statistics page. But now I just want a calculator page. And I'm going to choose the Menu button and choose the Statistics option, which brings up stat. Uh, several things, but in particular, we want stat calculations and we want to do a regression calculation. We're going to go with linear regression. There are there are two flavors of linear regression. Uh, they largely just relate to how the answer is formatted. And so we're going to go with MX plus B here in the video. Uh, I press that. I need to enter the X list and we have M for minutes as our independent variable. The Y list, our dependent variable is turtles. And now I'm going to press tab a bunch of times. I don't need to change this. It's going to save the regression equation as function F1. The frequency is just one. Each of the data, item, each of the data items just appears one time. And we're not going to worry about categories. And here we go. So I can press enter to, to do the calculation. And the, the actual command, sort of the calculator details of the command are, are up here in the top. They describe the type of equation, the format for the regression equation. They give us the slope, which is negative 0.776, let's say. That's uh, the number of turtles we would expect to drop off the log each minute. So it's sort of a weird number, but you know, roughly almost one turtle per minute is dropping off the log. Uh, after about four minutes, we would expect about three turtles to, to leave the log. Uh, the y-intercept is pretty close to that initial value of 15 in our data. You know, 0, 0,15 is one of our data points. And you know this is in that neighborhood. It doesn't really have a lot of meaning for us, other than it would be the predicted value of turtles, the predicted number of turtles uh, at the start. Um, what is new and kind of important are, is this number here, the, the value for r. You know, r squared is the square of that value, but the, the value r we call Pearson's correlation coefficient. Um, and it represents the strength and direction of the linear relationship. Negative 1 represents a perfect linear relationship. If the dots were exactly in a straight line with a negative slope, we would see negative 1. Negative 0.965 that we see here is is actually really close to negative one. So it, so it's a it, it's representing a very strong linear relationship, and so that helps us judge and, and describe what the graph looks like. So going back to the graph, we could say there's a strong negative correlation between time and the number of turtles on the log. On the calculation page, we can do one more thing. So let's say, looking at our data points, we can see you know there's a gap between two and five. What if I wanted to try to figure out how many turtles were on the log after, uh, let's say, six minutes? How many turtles were on the log after six minutes? So I could go back to the calculation page. The data uh, is stored in function F1. And up here in this list of commands, it's kind of hidden. But if I hit the arrow over here, if it lets me do that, uh, kind of disappeared. Oh, no, there it is. There it is, F1. We can see that that's where the regression equation is stored. And I can type F1 as a new command on the calculation page. And if I'm interested in what's happening after six minutes, I can enter in six there. And we can see that we would expect about 10 turtles to be on the log. 9.8 is the number we see. So about 10 turtles would be on the log after six minutes. This is called 
interpolation because six is within the x values of the data set, within the minutes of the data set. If I was interested in what's happening after 10 minutes, that's called extrapolation. So after 10 minutes, we would expect 6.7 turtles. So that doesn't make sense, but you know, somewhere between six and seven, probably closer to seven uh, turtles on the log after 10 minutes. So extrapolation, you know, this seems not unreasonable, but extrapolation depends on the pattern continuing. So the linear pattern that we see in the data needs to continue in order for extrapolation to make sense. Extrapolation is a little bit unreliable if we go too far away, especially. So let's say we see what happens after 60 minutes, negative 32 turtles. I've never seen a negative turtle. Maybe I've seen an angry turtle. You know, snapping turtles can be kind of mean, but you know, negative turtles, what does that mean? It makes no sense. So extrapolation, again, it depends on the pattern in the data continuing beyond the actual data set that is creating that pattern. Interpolation, you know, using a number within the values of the data uh, makes sense generally. Extrapolation maybe makes sense, but we have to be careful. We're making an assumption that the pattern continues and maybe it doesn't. All right, the last thing I wanna do is, is kind of scroll back up here for a moment and look at our coefficients again. Let's say I wanna know how long will it take for zero turtles to be on the log. So we have the coefficient, uh, the coefficients, the slope, the X coefficient is negative 0.776 and the Y intercept is 14.5, let's say. And so I can use those to create an equation. And so let me choose the menu again and choose algebra. And I'm going to choose n solve. And I happen to know this equation is only going to have one solution. So n solve is a good choice. I can enter in negative 0.776, I think was our value, and uh, plus 14.5. If I add a comma and then solve for X, this will tell me when the regression line hits the X axis. You know, this is basically gonna be the X intercept at the regression line, which is when the number of turtles reaches zero. So it'll take about 18 minutes for the log to be free of turtles. I mean, maybe a little bit more, 18 and a half minutes. Here, interestingly, it's okay to have a decimal, right? 18.7 minutes, 18.69 minutes uh, is perfectly fine, right? Because we can have a partial minute in a way that's not nearly as messy as having a partial turtle. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.